there is just so much that we do not know, right? At the markup, we build a lot of tools to help understand and collect information from large platforms like Facebook. And it's not just that we don't know, it's that when you attempt to find out, the companies actually do, like not just can, do go after you legally saying, you are not allowed to come onto our private property and collect this kind of information. It is they actively weaponize against any types of research interventions. And so I would say as a first step, the most important the most important recommendations are, and proposals are actually saying, we have to decide where on the spectrum we're gonna land in this binary. And it's somewhere new, right? It's not fitting into the shoes of newspapers or telephones or something else. We gotta know what the what is. And that's where I actually think the proposals in Europe around platform research are far more interesting. They offer a lot of really creative examples of saying what, you know, in creative information disclosure could look like, what intermediary bodies that can collect that information, kind of like financial bodies are able to access information that the general public can't in the US. Like thinking about those models are really important because we just don't know what we're working with yet. And, and I think having an open mind when you read these legal proposals, recognizing that space is possible is, is the important place to end up.